Welcome back to Adventures with Rosie and Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Yeah. yeah. So you may not have noticed but we have had a little bit of a break. We have. We've had a few weeks off the camera. <laughs> um, kind of just before Christmas Day we did the whole uh, what you've been seeing recently. Milford, Doubtful, Doubtful yeah. uh, Mount Cook. Mm -hmm. uh, and then what did we do? And then we headed back to Christchurch mm. and caught up with a couple of friends. Had Christmas there. Yeah. Um, went up to... Kaikoura. Kaikoura. <laughs> Kelsey did a bit of whale watching. <laughs> yeah, we hung out with my sister and her family. They yeah. were travelling around with us for a bit and we went to Hanma with them. Spent a couple of very hot days yeah. at the hot pools, like, which was a lot of fun. But Like 30 roasting. plus degrees, sitting in the sun. <laughs> we all got sunburned. <laughs> Packed into a campground. Uh, we had a really nice time yeah, catching up great. with them and the kids caught up with the cousins, so it was lovely. Um, and now we're back. Free agents yeah. doing nothing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got a month until the next round of family comes yeah. down, and um, we're just going to chill and yeah, take back our to time it. exploring. <laughs> yeah, have a bit of a relax. I think. Yeah. All right, so we've come for a little walk today. Uh, this is the Rakaia Gorge, um, about uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes away from where we were staying in Methven pretty incredible look at this the old school bridge over there single lane bridge which is pretty cool and the color of this water is insane um, what a neat spot there's all sorts of walks up here you can do a four hour loop you can do half an hour to the first lookout a few walks in between so pretty amazing spot um, people go jet boating in here fly fishing as well but whew, amazing cool spot Alright, so this is the first lookout. Um, it's supposed to be only half an hour up to here, a couple of kilometres, but felt yeah, more like an hour, maybe with the little legs. Um, a pretty stunning view of the gorge. You've got Mount Hutt up here. There's another mountain in here as well, I think. Mount Summers, I want to say. Could be wrong. Uh, don't quote me on that. But yeah, um, ski field up Mount Hutt in the winter. Um, but yeah, pretty amazing gorge. Pretty stunning water. It'd be um, a fun one to kayak down. We saw a few people kayaking just before and um, the jet boat as well running up and down which is kind of cool but what a spot so our plans for the next few while um kind of making them up as we go along but kind of this sort of central part that we've kind of missed eh? yeah there's been a few spots along the way that we've missed that we want to check out yeah and then in about three weeks we've got to be down in dunedin yes yeah, so we've got about three weeks so we're kind of thinking like <laughs> methvin oh grizzly child methvin geraldine ashburden yeah might try and go to like Tekapo again in the summer. Um, yeah, kind of just like down the middle, but there's loads of gems like where we are right now that are just kind of dotted around those spots, eh? Yeah. Um, loads of walks and stuff. So we're gonna take it easy for a couple of weeks. Yeah, end up in Dunedin. Mm -hmm. No plans, which is really nice. It's exciting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, back down we go. Uh, we are carrying the girls though this time. Oh, haven't carried this one in a while. They're getting big. Um, there's a lot of steps to get up here, it was kind of gnarly, so carry the girls back down and then I think we'll head back and show you where we've been staying, the uh, Methvin Trotting Club, a little uh, race course, it doesn't look like it gets a ton of use, um, but you can stay there, so yeah, catch up with you there. Alright, so this is our home for the next couple of nights. Uh, we stayed one night last night, we arrived pouring with rain. Um, this field is really long wet grass and we were kind of <laughs> worried we might get stuck in it or something, but it's been lovely today. So we'll stay another night I think tonight, just chill out, have a barbecue maybe. Um, this is the Methvin Trotting Club, or Harness Racing Club, Trotting Club I think. Um, you've probably seen us stay in a bunch of these sort of sites in New Zealand, like old horse racing clubs or you know trotting clubs like this where there's normally like some old buildings old grandstand you know and um, you can kind of just park in their grounds it's a way of them making a bit of money throughout the year uh, five dollars a night per adult to stay here kids are free and there's no facilities um, I don't think there's any freedom camping in Methvin so this is probably your cheapest option so we'll stay another night here um, kind of cool place for the kids you know because there's no one about it's actually I say it's derelict but it's all kind of mowing 
There's rabbits hopping around over there. It's all mowing and these places are normally tidy. They're kind of fun to explore as well with the kids because you know there's no cars or other people around so you can kind of just wander around all the old buildings and the grandstands and stuff. So yeah, we'll just chill out this afternoon I think. Um, get a barbecue going. Yeah. Who knows? No plans. I like it. All right, well, beautiful evening here, um, but I'm gonna do something I've been putting off for a little bit, and that is crawl under the caravan and try and see what is blocking our drain. So our main sink in our kitchen is draining really slow. Uh, I took off the HEPA valve that's kind of in the cupboard, the white HEPA valve, and cleaned that out. There's nothing in there, it's a bit gunky, but there's nothing in there, so I suspect um, there's something in the kind of right angle, um, you know, as it starts feeding back in the caravan. We had the same problem like three months ago and there was a bit of sausage, as gross as that sounds, <laughs> a bit of sausage wedged in the pipe, blocking everything else up. So yeah, I'm going to crawl under there, see what's blocking it up this time. The joys of life on the road. Always a joy pulling those pipe connections apart. A whole bunch of gunk and slime and bits of food slopped its way out. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's fixed. It is also good to get under there and kind of make sure everything's buttoned up and not leaking or nothing's hanging down low or anything like that, but fun. Yeah, it's a small space under there, <laughs> but I'm slowly getting used to the workings of this caravan. Um, I think we might call it a night. We're gonna just chill out with the kids, read some books, Tomorrow we'll head off to Ashburton, I think, and hang out there for the weekend. All right, time to roll out. It's been a nice little spot here. Um, we are gonna head towards Ashburton. Not sure where we're gonna stay yet. We're gonna figure that out in the car on the way uh, and dump tanks somewhere. So yeah, we'll see you in Ashburton. Well, we found this nice little uh, park over property. Um, if you haven't been watching us for a while, uh, park over property, or pop as they call them, if you're an NZMCA member, you can uh, park in people's property. They can put them up as pops or caps if they charge. This is a pop. Look at this. Pretty cool. So a pop's free. It's free to stay here, which is pretty amazing. Um, three nights if you want. Just out of Ashburton, like two minutes that way to town. And yeah. Nice flat level sections, lovely people that live here. They've also got a caravan, so a lot of people who have pops, you know, also members with caravans, so pretty cool. I think we'll stay here a couple of nights. Um, we did see there's a steam train in Ashburton um, that runs on Sundays, so we might try and do that and yeah, just chill out in this beautiful little farm. There's also chickens under the caravan. Uh, they let the chickens out in the afternoon to kind of free range and they're all <laughs> under our caravan. So what are our plans for the rest of 2022? Hmm. Um, we've got a bit planned. Um, so like we said, we're going to work our way down to Dunedin. Yep. We actually just booked a train trip today, a couple of weeks. Yeah. A week from now? A week from now. Yep, so we've got a week <laughs> to get to Dunedin. Then we're going to do a week with Chelsea's parents, uh, Catlins and stuff. Eh? Yeah, we'll be exploring the Catlins with yep. them. They've got a rental motor home, so we'll be doing a bit of traveling too. Mm. Then in Vicargill, and then we're going to try and go to Stewart Island, which yes. we're pretty excited about. Eh? Very uh, excited. That's one sort of spot we've never been close to or explored, yep. been on our list. So, yeah, so loads come up. We also may or may have not put a down payment on something. No down payment made yet. We've ordered it. We've ordered something. <laughs> We've ordered something for 2022, this year, later on this year. But that's all you're going to know for now. Number four. <laughs> what could it be? So it's yeah. a child. Just putting that <laughs> yeah, out yeah, yeah. <laughs> We put a down payment on a child. Um, so yeah, heaps heaps coming up, eh? Yeah. Um, we're also going to 
I guess the next week we're going to try and cover off a bunch of the spots we missed on the way up as well. Yes. Um, yeah. Lots to do. Yeah. But no rough, well, just rough plans. <laughs> yeah, rough plans, loose plans. Yeah. We're just cruising. The longer we do this for, the more we yeah. just start cruising, eh? Uh, it's not so funny to start with. It was like planned out two weeks in advance where yeah. we would be staying and all the rest of it. And today it's like, oh, we'll get in the car and we'll just start driving and figure out where we're going to stay along the way. <laughs> yeah, we're actually like, while we're driving, going, where should we, where are we going? Like, <laughs> so yeah, it's nice. So we're pretty determined to scratch off all the dots on our scratch map, as you've heard us talk about many times. Uh, I think there's like six or seven left in the South Island, which is exciting. I just noticed though, Chelsea, that uh, Central Otago, there's a bit we missed. So we're gonna have to go back down there. <laughs> um, so we're getting towards the end of the places we need to go. We haven't scratched any of the places we've been off in the North Island yet, because we figure we'll take all the kids back around through there. So yeah, I guess nearly there, nearly finished the South Island. These are grey ones we have adventuring all around there and... So what are the red ones? Those ones from Fane too. Just yep. ignore this yeah. part. <laughs> <laughs> Just ignore the North Island. And there's a few right down the bottom here we've still got to go to, including Stewart Island. <laughs>